Hey friends, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Today I'm checking out a beer. I've been looking forward to this one for uh, for a little while now. Uh, it's a dessert beer. It is a creme brulee nitro stout. Alright, so today's beer comes to me courtesy of my buddy Drew at Beer for Breakfast Packs for Snacks. Uh, please check out his channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, he sent me this beer, I'm going to say about a month ago. I haven't got around to trying it yet. I, it's one of, and probably the most excited I, I was of everything he sent in that box. Uh, but also, the kind of beer you got to be in the right frame of mind for, right? Like, it's... This isn't something you're going to drink if you just want to pound back a beer real quick or have a few of them. Because it's a creme brulee nitro stout. This just sounds incredible. I love desserty beers. I love nitro stouts. Uh, I'm very, very excited. Uh, this is from Cowbell Brewing. Uh, Cowbell is where? Where are they located? Somewhere in Ontario, I bet. Uh, they are from Blythe, Ontario. Uh, the beer is 5.5% alcohol, a silky smooth nitrogenated milk stout brewed with rich caramel malts, golden naked oats, Belgian candy syrup, and natural flavors that harmonious bl harmoniously blend together to produce a beer inspired by a timeless French delicacy. I'm so looking forward to this. Oh, it also says here, for the best nitro drinking experience, crack the can open and pour vigorously into your glass. Vigorously! Um, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to mean, just like going nuts. I'll be shake can. It doesn't say to shake beforehand, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I will hard pour it. I, I'm not always a hard pourer, but when it comes to stouts, and especially nitro stouts, i got to get on that. So, I'm going to hard pour this beer. I need the hard pour cam. Which is the same cam. I just got. I just got to move it. That's kind of how the hardcore pan or hard pour cam works here at the One Flight Down Studio slash Terry Isle Basement Pub. All right, I'm just gonna set this up here. I'm gonna use my uh, little brown jug tulip glass for this, uh, also known as Allen's glass. Uh, that's what Drew always calls it. And if I want, if this kind of glass just became known colloquially as Alan's glass. I'd, I'd be a pretty happy guy. All right, let's bring that in nice and close. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All right, here we go, everybody. All right, so that is the hard pour cam. I'm gonna let that settle for a second. All right, so that was a pretty sexy pour. Let's uh, check it out on the nose. Oh, oh, oh man, that is that, that smells like dessert. Holy smokes, that that really that just it smells like I I, I went out for ice cream or something. That. Smells so desserty and good. Yeah, this see that's the thing. Like this is the kind of beer you want to sip and savor, right? I mean, I, I'm assuming it's going to be taste as good as it smells. Look at that gorgeous head. Look at that. Very, it's Guinness esque, and there's not a chance, not a chance you're seeing face through that. I mean, any stout you're not going to see my face through that. Uh, wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, time to go in and and have a sip. Cheers, my friends. My God, that is silky smooth. Uh, wow, that is a smooth beer. Um, just a beautiful, silky mouthfeel on that. 
my mouth is just coated in, in, in goodness now. Oh my God, that, yeah, incredible mouthfeel. Super, super like silky and smooth. Um, and the body itself, it, it doesn't feel that heavy to me. I mean, the, 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 the head on there um, adds to the silkiness, I think. Um, but like, I don't know, I find a lot of time dessert stouts often feel pretty heavy. This one doesn't really feel that heavy. Man, that is nice. Um, and yeah, it, uh, like, does it taste exactly like creme brulee? Pretty close. It's got, yeah, it, it really does. I mean, the thing about a creme brulee is, like, busting through that right that's maybe the only thing that's missing is you don't have that that satisfaction of, of cracking through that hard top layer of that man that is a spectacular beer what's the name of this brewery again cowbell brewing company uh first thing i've had from them i really like this um yeah if if you see this in a beer store and you like uh dessert stouts yeah, hundred uh, percent. Recommend this. It's <laughs> fantastic beer. Uh, Drew, thank you so much for sending me this one. Uh, thank you to the rest of you for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub. Uh, we'll see you all again real soon, my friends. Cheers. Again, I'm tired of